God, this is their baby. This is their sperm. And it's like with the right connection with the mother, they can somewhat experience the labor in a way that their bonding and their uh, relationship with their child is quite similar to the mother's if they're allowed to be at the birth in, in a way that they can experience the birth in this most amazing way. I think parents have to fight more after the baby's here than they do during labor. I mean, most, most of the time if I attend a birth and a mom says she, she doesn't want this or that, like she doesn't want an epidural or she doesn't want the IV fluids, she may have to sign a form, she may have to repeat it a couple times, but then it's a done deal. But once that baby is out, everything changes. The baby needs to go to the nursery for observation. They need to do this to the baby. They need to do that to the baby. And none of it facilitates the baby and the mother and the father's relationship together. He doesn't belong with me. He belongs with his mother and father. Where a person feels that they are in the right place to be here, you know, to be welcomed here. Yeah, you're in the right place. You're right there. You went from here to here. Yeah, you're in the right place. And then after the baby is born, um, letting it go a little slower and letting it somehow be dictated by that instinctual mother animal. Not a, this very strange thing. I mean, just a, I, I try to think, what, what would I feel like if I went to another planet and the first thing they did was start flipping my body around and, and doing, doing and, yeah, and giving me you know, a jillion sensations, not necessarily pleasant, that I'd never had before versus if they just would let me be until I got my bearings. We all, we all want to have our bearings. We all want to have a chance to get our bearings when we're in a new environment. And if he's had minimal amounts of drug, uh, drugs to allay the mother's pain, he's equipped to see his mother and to, for a, a, a beautiful scene. That's when the fighting begins. Birth plans are sort of a non-issue because if you choose the right care provider, they already know what you want. It's more the baby plants. That's where the fight is. They have the right to determine what happens after the baby's born, that the baby stays with them. And, you know, even to have the newborn exam in that first hour after birth is an interruption mm -hmm. in what the mom and baby really need to be doing. And in the scene, he's in state four. And state four is the quiet, alert, and he's interested in faces. The eye contact does is that when you make eye contact with someone, it, it causes oxytocin to be released into the system, which gives that feeling of well-being. Mm. So it really supports the mother system and the baby system to work at the optimal level of their potential in giving birth together. Wants to look at his mother because he's heard her and he smelled her, and he smelled amniotic fluid, so he knows that this is the person that's talked to him and repeatedly, and what does she look like? And now I have a new sense that I can uh, utilize here, and I can look at her and see how beautiful she is. Being the baby with the mother supports both of their systems. Mm -hmm for the hormonal balance to be there and for the baby to work it out in an easier, f supported fashion, rather than the baby trying to like close the harsh touch and the bright lights and everything out, it's like more receptive and so the baby system gets to work more efficiently. And when I'm through nursing, I'm going to especially spend a lot of time looking at her. And I can see that man next to her and he seems important, because I've heard his voice also. So these are what the baby deserves in the first couple, three hours.
and I think we we tend to forget because we're a little bit in this society we we have this sort of class system and authoritarian uh, rule system so that we go to a hospital and it's not our place it's their place but the thing about it is everybody was there in their own reactions mm -hmm. which is different than you have a group of people that are responsive that are responsive to an event and it's about someone has to step forward and take responsibility. It's the doctor's place, it's the nurse's place, it's the administrator's place. They make the rules and they're allowed to because it's their place, but it's our baby. They're just there in response, response to each other and to what just happened. And to and that then, baby. Yeah, and to actually be in, in, in the quiet, quiet presence of the awe. And people are just people everywhere. You know, doctors are just people, and nurses are just people. Everyone is just people, so it's about communication. So that the baby can settle, and the mom can settle, and they can connect. They're the most important people there. We just need to impart to mothers and fathers to occupy their space. So we take over, and it becomes our space. I really encourage all my parents to come up with a plan for how they want their baby to be treated because that's where they're going to feel like they have less control. To come in as if they were queen of the hospital, that's what I always tell my moms, you, if you're gonna have a baby in the hospital, you are now queen of the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everyone there serves you. Everyone there serves you. They have no other reason for being there except to serve you.